Hey guys, Plain and Simple Man here, and I just hope everybody had a very Merry Christmas, a Happy Hanukkah, a Happy Kwanzaa. I hope everybody had a safe and happy holiday, and you know, guess what? You know, we've got New Year's is right around the corner, but I wanted to make this video here. This is a follow-up video. This is a follow-up. It's a part two of a video that I did a couple of months ago. Disc versus digital when it comes to video games, guys, and the video had a lot of views and responses, and it seems people were really split as to which they preferred. But now that I've had a couple of months to download games and the fact that I have another Xbox One console in my house, the final verdict is in for me as to which one I prefer. Now, I already said in the past video that I preferred digital copies, but now I am completely convinced that digital is the way to go. Now, if I download a game, and I'm going to use Call of Duty Advanced Warfare as the example here, I pay one price, and I'm able to download the game to two separate consoles in my house, and I don't need to purchase the game twice. Now, sometimes I want to play the same game with multiple people in the same house using two consoles, and if I purchase the disc instead of the digital, now I'd have to buy two separate copies, one for each console. Let's just say the average game costs 60 American dollars. That would mean I would have to fork out $120 to buy two physical copies of the same game. The download allows you to have both copies on both consoles for one price. It's a no-brainer to me as to which one is better, and again, I'm only speaking for me and my own personal preference. One guy said he likes to have a library on his shelf to show people his games. Well, just do what I did. Buy some empty disc boxes, print out the cover art of your favorite game, which you can Google search images for that game, by the way, print it out at home, or take it to a place where they provide printing services and print it out that way. Slide it in the empty disc box, and now you have something to show your friends. To me, if you plan on using multiple consoles in the same house with different people playing the same games, such as in a party, digital is the way to go. But if you plan on having only one console and you plan on selling the game in a couple of years at, I don't know, GameStop for $4, and you're willing to take a chance that your copy is never going to get a scratch on it and it's never going to crack, well, disc is probably the way you want to go. But I take good care of my discs, plain and simple, man. They never get scratches. Well, that's good. That's, that's fantastic. Then you definitely should buy discs. You should also buy discs if you worry about trade-ins, resale, having a physical copy to show your friends, getting up and hitting the eject button every single time you want to play a new game, if you want a system that runs hotter, if you prefer slower load times, or if you want to let your friends borrow the game, then definitely disc is for you. The one thing that I don't care care for in my case is that downloaded digital content takes a long time, but once it's downloaded, it's there ready to go when I click on it. If by chance you download your game library and your hard drive breaks and your game library is completely lost, you can always download the games again without having to pay as long as you download the games with the same account you originally downloaded the games to begin with. Whew. Man, that was long. Change isn't always easy, guys. We become so used to the way things are that we oftentimes don't see the benefits. In this case, I do see the benefits. And I have to be honest, my consoles run better, they run cooler, and I'm really happy that I made the decision to go digital and drop the discs completely. I feel bad for the people that work in places like GameStop where the majority of their profits are from the sale of video game physical copies. But wasn't that the case years ago when we used to rent movies from Blockbuster? Hmm. We never thought they'd go away now, did we? But now we have Netflix. Oh, b oh, by the way, guys, for those of you that do prefer disc copies, when was the last time you purchased a music CD? Don't you want a CD library to show your friends, though? Like the game library you speak of? It's kind of the same thing, don't you think? Anyway, guys, everybody's going to have a different opinion, and I respect that. But I'm just sharing my views with you based on my experience in having both disc and digital, and why I prefer digital over disc. Now, whether you choose disc, digital, PC, Xbox One, or PlayStation 4, just enjoy yourselves. And I hope if somebody out there was trying to make a decision, I hope I shed some light on the subject. And as always, guys, remember to like, subscribe, comment, and stay tuned for my next video. Have a good one, guys. Peace out.